This is video 812, and the goal of this video is to reduce a matrix to row, reduce row echelon form in order to solve systems. But as you saw in class, it is a monotonous and long process. And of course, nowadays, we have technology to do that for us. So the ultimate goal of this video is to understand how to use our calculator to turn an equation, uh, I'm sorry, a matrix that we'll write into the following reduced row echelon form. And of course, I'll write it a little bigger so you can see it, but it simply will have ones down the diagonal, and then on the opposing side, numbers, A, B, and C. And of course, this would mean that X would be A, because X is the first column, Y would be B, and Z would be C. So this is key. Um, it's obviously the, end, the work is done for us if we know how to put it in our calculator. So reference this video if you forget how to use your calculator when you get to class, but um, this is just a very simple steps. So write down a couple of the steps so that you can remember how to do this on your own. So let's take a look at our first example. It's really our only example. This is going to be short and sweet because we just need to go into the calculator and plug in the matrix. So the first thing that you would do on it if you're showing your work is write down the matrix that you're going to put into your calculator. And of course, it's the matrix with the coefficients of x, y, and z, and then our bar, and then the what they're equal to. So we have 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. 4, negative 3, 2, 16, and then 2, negative 2, negative 3, 5. Double check, make sure you wrote it all down right, and then we'll make sure that we can plunk it into our calculator. So in your TI-84s, 83s, there is a matrix option. Notice that it is here. It's in blue, so we're going to use the second key to access it. And let's take a look at well, how we'll enter that on our calculator. So let me close, clear that ink here so you can see it better. Okay, so we're going to go second, matrix. Now I want you to remember one thing. The, on the right here, you can see which buttons I'm pushing. So if you've missed something, you can watch the buttons. Um, or, of course, obviously, you're watching a video, so you can rewind it. Now the first column here is all the list of the different names of the matrices. If we scroll to the right under math, these are all the different functions we can perform with those matrices. And we'll learn a lot more about these functions throughout this unit. Finally, the last one is edit. This is where we actually go in and change what's in the matrix. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to enter a matrix as we've written down here. So we're going to hit enter for A under edit, and now we're going to create the matrix. Uh, default is one by one, maybe your calculator is different, but we're going to always remember that it's rows by columns, so we need a three by four matrix. So I hit three enter and four enter. Now we're going to just enter the values into our matrix. So one enter, and notice it goes across the row. One enter, I'm simply entering my matrix into my calculator, hopefully you're following along with your calculator. 4, negative 3, 2, and 16. And 5. It's never a bad idea to just double check and make sure all your columns match up and all your numbers match up because you don't want to enter this wrong and then get the wrong answer because of a silly entering error. So we have our matrix entered. Now we're going to get out of the screen because we're going to go back to our calculating screen where we'll calculate the reduced row echelon form. So we're going to hit second and quit. Second mode. Now we're back in our calculating screen. Now let's take a look and we're going to calculate the reduced row echelon form. So in order to do that, once again, we need to go into the matrix. We need to calculate something, so we're going to hit math, and we're going to find reduced row echelon form. It's towards the bottom, and it's RREF for reduced row echelon form. Okay, 
Don't mistake it with REF. That's reduced echelon form that will only have ones down the diagonal and zeros to the left, but not to the right, the top right of the diagonal. So we might as well do RREF to fully reduce this matrix. So what we're entering into our calculator is reduced row echelon form, and then we're going to punch in our matrix A, because that's where we entered it. So we're going to hit enter here, because that's the calculation we want to do. Now we need to tell it to put in matrix A, so we go back to matrix, second, and then to hit matrix. And we wanted to use letter A, so we hit enter for the name A. Sorry about the bells. <laughs> so now we're going to just hit enter. We can close the parentheses. We don't really have to in this case since we're finishing the problem. Hit enter and ta-da, the work is done. So yes, of course, you need to know how to interpret that and what that means, which is why you spent part of the day doing that in class. So the x value is going to be 2. The y value is negative 2. And the z value is 1 for this matrix. So we are done. We could check our point 2, negative 2, 1 into our three equations if we wanted to be sure on a test that we didn't enter anything incorrectly. It's a great idea. Can't hurt. Use your time wisely and check those answers when you can. So that's the solution. That's all that it takes. So mostly it's understanding where the matrix key is and then how to edit things and then what we're trying to calculate, RREF, or reduced row echelon form. So that is um, solving a system using your calculator. And that is what you can do from here on out. Your multiple choice question has kind of a harder one. Again, just to make sure you know how to how to perform operations with the matrix. And the free response question is the one you should try and use your calculator with. So try to use your calculator. Be careful when entering things. Notice there are things missing. And if it's missing, then you put a zero in its place because there's none of it. Um, and then your multiple choice question, be sure to try and follow the directions. Sorry, it's a little overlapped here but you're trying to perform one row operation just to make sure that you know how to perform row operations. That's what that problem is asking. So do your best. Bring those questions into class and see if you can find success using your calculator later.